Yo dudes, what's up? This is Planet Keith, I'm Keith, and today, hmm, I've got a problem. <laughs> I've broken my beloved Ender 3 printer, 3D printer, probably because I'm an idiot. So if you've been anxiously waiting for part three of the router table build, um, well, so am I, but I can't do it because part three mainly is the um, vacuum extraction system for which I will need to 3D print lots of adapters and hoppers and manifolds and things and it's all very exciting but I can't do it because I've broken my beloved Ender 3 3D printer and this happened two or three weeks ago basically I had a bit of a meltdown with the uh, hot end whereby it got totally gunked up with melted plastic and I tried to clean it up with uh, a brass brush and was uh, a little bit too vigorous so I've destroyed the ceramic insulation and capped on tape that is wrapped around it that's the gold stuff I didn't know that at the time I didn't know what it was um, and so I thought I'll get a new hot end an all metal improved version and I did and I tried to install it and it didn't work properly it kind of worked um, as in when you switch the machine on the temperature for the nozzle displayed the ambient temperature which it should do but when you set set it to heat up to a preset temperature it would very 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 quickly escalate over and above what you'd set so if you'd set 100 it, it would it would just ignore that and carry on and go up to 200 whatever uh, and yeah frequently accompanied by a smell of burning <laughs> so yeah that was a bit scary so basically this, this is um, the thermistor it's just a tiny little glass bead on the end of uh, two cables and this measures the temperature of the uh, heater block and it's connected to the main board and it says oh that's at this temperature carry on heating or stop whatever when I, when I took the second heater block to bits and pulled out the thermistor I managed to, to damage that and break the uh, glass bead so I sent off for as, as it happened five sets of thermistors and heater elements that look like this just a little cylinder on the edge of on the end of two wires um, and you can't just get one you get a pack of five so I did and went through most of them I might want to them before putting them in um, with the same result of it you know overheating and uh, going out of control uh, yeah but the last two have done something different again they've as soon as you plug it into the power and switch it on the heater block starts heating or the thermistor reports that it is and in fact so does the thermometer so I don't know it shouldn't do that but then when you set a temperature for it to actually heat to it instantly goes over and above what you set so I have no real idea well, I have no idea how to fix it. Um, I suspect maybe there's some kind of um, power rating for these things, but in the literature on Amazon, there is nothing. It doesn't tell me, you know, anything about the things. Uh, so I might have actually got the wrong piece of kit, in which case that's solvable. I can get a different piece of kit, but I really don't know. And the thermistor, again, I don't know in that second scenario why is it doing anything when I haven't told it to so I'm 100% certain that the wiring's correct I am um, and uh, if, if that turns out to be wrong then shoot me <laughs> uh, but yeah I'm stuck guys I'm stuck if uh, I know most of you don't know anything about this kind of thing but I do know a few of you do so if if you can give me some guidance help pointers in the comments below i would be more than grateful uh you i really would because this is doing my head in as we say anyway uh if you enjoyed this give it a like share subscribe etc and well see you next time